Now, this organ has lots of other sounds. I showed you the imitative sounds of the orchestra a little bit earlier on. Um, I played the, the tubers, which really sound like trumpets, the big one, the quiet one, etc. Now, there are toys, and I played a few of those earlier. Here are some chimes. So this is like somebody's knocking at your front door. Or if you're in the olden days. And there's a piece I'm playing by a composer called Dudley Peel. Uh, in the program called Temple Bells, and it uses those lovely um, bells as the centerpiece of the composition. So that's one fun thing. A lot of pipe organs, though, have chimes, so maybe that's not quite so unusual. Now, how about the other one? Here's a glockenspiel. So that's pretty fun. Um, here is a marimba. Here's a xylophone. Um, here is a carillon. It's really a, uh, a, it's meant to sound like a harp. And that is located, it might be hard for you to tell, but way up in the ceiling, about 75 feet above our heads, in what we call the echo division, or the antiphonal division. And really, I should be playing that on this top keyboard. We have five keyboards, we call them manuals. Manual is Latin, um, manus means hand, so manuals are the ones we play with our hands. Um, and really, as I say, that plays from the top keyboard, because the top keyboard controls that echo and antiphonal division. So then, we have the, the unpitched sounds. That means that they're not designed to sound like a xylophone or a glockenspiel. Um, here is a very fun Turkish cymbal. We have a triangle. I'll use that a lot in this concert. There's a bell. Imagine you're in a graveyard scene in a movie. Um, if you're being chased by a horse, then of course you have the hoofs. If there is a fire, or you're being chased around by a fire engine, you have the fire gong. Um, if there's a train coming, which you will probably want to move out of the way. somebody rings at your door, well, I already used this one, just push the doorbell. Um, if someone's in your way and you're driving, you use the car horn. And if you're in a beautiful mountainous scene and the little birds are tweeting, ah, you have the bird stop. So those are some of the fun toy stops when they're up in the top of the organ, we call that the penthouse. Um, and we also have some more conventional percussion. Here is a snare drum. Um, you may know that from some famous movies. Uh, so the snare drum is really fun, and we also have a bass drum. So this is literally a bass drum which is struck by a mechanical um, mallet whenever I push down the foot pedal in this case. So I always like to think about maybe a military scene. Um, just by using my hands and my feet. And, and then we also have our bass drum roll. something fun is about to jump out at the circus and then we have some symbols here's a tap symbol and here is a big crash symbol and if you want to create that real sense of excitement and crescendo
So all of those are real instruments that if we had a human upstairs, they would just be playing them. Um, but we're able through the magic of this technology, um, which comes from the 1920s, to play all of those fun sounds, but as a single organist. So I think I showed you at the very beginning with that um, arrangement of Stars and Stripes. Well, I'll play the very beginning of it, and you'll see how I can pull on those instruments just like I had a whole bunch of percussionists standing behind the organ facade. <laughs> 